Hey, it's Daniel Fernandez here. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. So, this is the third day that we are going to do our daily Bible dose. And I hope, guys, that you have learned something on those days that we have discussed about the Bible. The first video is all about love. The second is about forgiveness. And right now, we are going to talk about certain things about being a servant to a master. So, before everything else, please prepare your hard copy Bibles or your digital Bibles, notebooks, pens, and highlighters so that everything is set it up as we are going to learn the Bible. Before we all start off, let us all pray. Dear Heaven and Father, thank you for the guidance that you have given to us. Thank you for another life. Thank you for the wonderful weather. Thank you for another day that you have given to all of us, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, as we are going to read your Bible, as we are going to learn your words and your words from the Bible, Lord Jesus, help us, help us that, we're, that, it, that we can understand it properly, that we can understand your words, Lord Jesus, every inch of your word that you want us to learn, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, give us the knowledge, wisdom, and guide us in every word that we are going to read, Lord Jesus. We offer you, bring, we offer you all the highest praise, Lord Jesus. Just give me a prayer, amen, and amen. So, for today, we are going to focus on the scripture on Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. We are going to focus on the book of Matthew right now, chapter 6, verse 24. So, let us all read as we, let us all read the verse that we are going to learn this morning. So, I will be reading from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. It is said here, no one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. So for today, we are going to, to discuss about being a servant for two masters. We people, we cannot serve two masters. Why? Can you serve money? and God at the same time. Ikaw, pag nagtatrabaho ka ba, kaya mo bang magtrabaho sa dalawang kumpanya ng sabay-sabay? Hindi, di ba? It will exhaust you. Kapapagod ka, may hirapan ka. At saka, when it comes to God and earthly doings, worldly sins, when you, when you will choose, you, oh, you need to oh, choose only one. You cannot, do, you cannot serve two masters at once. Because it is said also, God doesn't want you to serve other masters other than He. Because He is a jealous God. God Himself is God. And we, as His servant, we need to, we need to offer our obedience to Him. We need to follow Him. We need to follow His orders to us. And we, as a children of God, we have things that we need to do as a servant. And one of those is do not serve money or any other things other than God. Yes, it's, it is normal na kailangan natin ng pera. Kasi hindi naman tayo siguro mabubuhay sa mundo kung walang pera, ganun. Pero what with, but with God, but with God, everything is possible. Because pag si God nasa sentro ng buhay mo, everything will come around Him. Hindi yung ang Panginoon yung hindi yung ang Panginoon ang magkocover sa'yo or magkocover sa things na needed mo. No. When God is the center of your life, everything will come. Basabi nga, seek you first the kingdom of God, and everything shall be added unto you. So you don't need to serve two masters. Because those people who are working, kung, in, kung ipapraktikalan lang, yung mga taong nagtatrabaho ng, ng, sa, dalawang, sa dalawang kompanya, sila yung mga taong kapos na kapos na kapos sa buhay. Sila yung mga taong hindi hindi sapat yung yung sweldo na meron sila sa pamumuhay nila. But makikita mo pagod na pagod sila. Parang 
sa trabaho nila, magsasabi yung po sila, bakit parang may, may time ka sa kabila dito, hindi. So, mag-aaway. Magkakaroon na away between those two jobs. And mahihirapan yung tao na yun to decide on 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 what side he is going to choose because importante yung dalawa. Because he chose two other than choosing one. Do you understand? So, we as children of God, we should not serve two masters. Because remember, again and again, God is a jealous God. And He wants us to be His only. You cannot serve both God and idols. You cannot serve both God and money. It's either you pick one out of the two. And isipin mo, ano ba yung pinaka-importante na pipiliin ko? Ano ba yung pinaka-importante sa buhay ko na dapat pipiliin ko sa dalawang yun? Reflect on yourself. Nandun ka ba sa sitwasyon na you serve money more than God? That you serve worldly affairs, worldly affairs than God? Reflect. And think about the things that you have done. And I hope this morning, it helped you to realize many things. And Lord, oh nga no, I have been devoted myself on the worldly affairs and not given time for you. I prioritize the things that I don't need to prioritize before you. You need to be the top priority of my life and you will be the one that I will serve so that everything that I need and desire will be come in my life. Will come in my life. Even if yung my desire mo is impossible sa, sa harapan ng tao. But with God, everything is possible. He can turn things around. He can change things. So that we, we need to serve only one God. And now you need to be wise whom you will choose. Money or God? Worldly affairs or God? You need to choose right now. Let us all pray as we are going to end this devotional. Dear Heaven and Father, thank you for the thank you for the realization that you have given to us. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the scripture, Lord Jesus, that you made us realize that we should serve one master only. That we should be wise in serving a master. A master that who can give us everything, who can give us life, who is the creator and the author of our lives, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we offer you everything right now. Our desires, our life and the destiny that you want us to be. Lord Jesus, everything has a purpose, and I know everything has a reason why we are here at this moment of our life. Lord Jesus, bless us today as we are going to continue our day, continue our works, our studies, Lord Jesus. We offer you everything. We offer you the life. We offer you the life that you have given to us, Lord Jesus. The life that you have Bless, Lord Jesus. We are giving you all the thanks, all the glory and honor. Just let me pray, amen and amen. So, I hope you did learn something this morning. And I hope that you will also share this to your friends so that they will be all blessed this morning. So guys, I hope that you always, that you will always look and watch on these videos that I am posting. And I hope that many of you will realize the things that you need to realize right now. God bless us all and please all again like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and please push the notification bell down below so that you will be notified for our next videos. Thank you and God bless. Have a nice day everyone.